Sorry, I was waiting. <laughs> I got busted, I was waiting for the camera to come on. Okay, so for you new people, I'm putting this at the beginning now because I just was not feeling a video yesterday. And sometimes you have that when you're trying to make a video, you always want it to be good, but I had like low energy, no energy. Like I couldn't get my words out. I couldn't make soap right. So I'm just putting this here now to let you guys know this is not a typical soap video and you can go back and watch all my other soap videos. They are playlisted. I don't know what was wrong with me. I just could not get, I just couldn't and get it going. I watched back some of the footage last night of me making the soap and I was just like, oh my gosh, dude, wake up. Like do something like this. This is terrible. So I'm going to try to turn that footage into something good. I just wanted you guys to know if you're coming to the channel to watch me make soap, this is me normally. I'm pumped up. I'm excited. I'm making soap. I'm whipping stuff. I'm doing stuff. <laughs> so, and of all things, like our Christmas launch of our new Christmas soap to have it be a bad video. So I will try to pull something together. That being said, here's the video. Please do me a favor, go follow us on Facebook. Click the thumbs up if you're watching the video. The thumbs up tells YouTube that you would like other people to see this video, even if it sucks. Ugh. And that'll help share it around a little bit. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us. Subscribing to us costs you nothing. It's literally the same thing as following someone on Facebook. You hit the subscribe on YouTube. That way, when I post a video, you'll see it pop up in your feed and you'll be able to watch us. Again, I apologize for the lackluster soap video. So here we go. What's up everybody and welcome back. If you're OG, my old goats, I don't wanna call you guys goats. My old school subscribers, welcome to all the new people. Yes, we also make soap. And today we're doing our Christmas soap for the year. I never showed the soap at the beginning of the video and I'm not going to now, but this is one of our embeds for the soap, Christmas tree. We are gonna make one of those today. This is a silicone mold that's tree shaped. We do have a soap playlist for you. You can click on the soap playlist and every soap that I've made on this channel, you can go watch those. Right around 140 videos that are also on a list. That list is called everything from the beginning. That will run in chronological order. So it starts at our very oldest video, which is the first video I ever made and goes all the way forward to today. If you wanna binge watch, if you're having a weekend, or if you just wanna put that on and let it play in the background to give us views. Appreciate that. If you want to see a more in-depth soap video, go back and watch some of my earlier videos where I was actually mixing all the lye, showing you how we stir that up, blending process, everything involved with an actual batch of soap. I don't really do those anymore. Nobody wants to sit here and watch me stir lye slash milk cubes for 20 minutes. I will cut out most of that, but I think the more important thing is the actual making of the soap, the cutting of the soap, and the, at the end of the day, you guys seeing the soap, we do have an Etsy shop. So for you guys that want to get the soap and or get any of our other soaps on our Etsy site, in the little banner at the top with the goats in the field at the bottom right hand corner, there is a tab for Etsy. There is also a link in every description of every video I put out. And there's also a link in the about tab on our homepage. You can also go to our Facebook page, which is also Zion Creek Farm. I have it pinned right at the top. Check out our Etsy shop. You can click on that link and it'll take you right to the Etsy shop. Easy to get to. I will launch this video at 8 p.m. You guys will have one hour. I will launch the soap at 9 p.m. Get over to Etsy, buy it all up, and we appreciate that. Next is just soap making, so let's get the cracking. For all you new people out there, we actually make our soap cubes in ice cube trays because one well in an ice cube tray is about one ounce of milk for us by weight. So it works out perfect for measuring. A couple things, lye, we never go over. However, our fats, if we go over a little on fats, either the goat milk or the olive oil or the coconut oil, then no big deal. Nobody ever complained about an overly fatty soap. So much better for you. So we're gonna make a batch that fills this bottom with white and then a tree mold. Water bath. Lye into the cubes. Basically just give this a stir so that the lie is touching everything. Please bear with me. I do not make soap videos that often. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> so the lies in the bowl. And then we go olive oil. Coconut oil. That's probably too much. This is the slow boring part. So I'll bring you guys back when this is finished. This is sodium lactate, which is a plant salt. This is what we use to harden our soaps. Just trying to bring, trying to bring this down to the temperature that I want it. 
before I mix it with the oils. Yes, I go oil into lye just because it's easier to clean out the oil bowl. We are going to blend this ever so gently. This is Savage Garden, which is what I'm using for the trees. And these are just mica colorants. And since this is going to be all white, we use titanium dioxide for our white colorants. I blend this pretty hard because I'm gonna put those trees in there as embeds and I just have to stand around and wait until this sets up enough to set those trees in there. So I get this blended, I get it going, get it working, get it turning into soap. And then I can come over here and dabble because I need this to be a little thicker when I'm pouring it into that mold. The first time I used this, it worked beautifully. The second time, all the seams popped, all the soap was pouring out the crack. It was bad, so I had to go to, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but I had to put tape on it to hold it together. And then I make sure I blend this up a little thicker so that it's not as thin and can't flow out quite as easily. This is just a little coffee frother. It works great if you're doing small batch colors. All right, this gets sketchy. I might have to use my chin. Try to get you guys a good view where you can see it filling up. That's that. And I'll just set this off to the side and let it turn into soap. See how much we have in this bowl. Divide that by three. And we're gonna use very technical prop stands here, mechanical pencils. And I'm just gonna pour off what I need in each bowl. And the last one. These do not have to be a precise angled pour. You'll understand when I get closer to finished. The angle's kind of relevant, but not necessarily. So now I just have to wait for these to set up firm enough to put the trees in. So while we're waiting for the white to set up, I thought I'd show you the fragrance oil that we're using. We use exclusively Nature's Garden for Nurture Soap fragrance oils because all the research, they're pretty much the best. Uh, we use at maximum percentage so that it always carries a good fragrance. I like a strong smelling soap. They don't all come out strong. It depends on the fragrance. What we're using in this is Nurture Soap Winter Wonderland. I'll read you guys the fragrance notes from that. I always read them guys for the noobs so I don't mess them up. This one kind of made me giggle a little bit though because so the top notes are green, green, that's it, and pineapple. Mid notes, pine and spice. Bottom notes, woody, ozone, what is air? I don't know. And cotton candy. Phthalate free? Yes. But I want to read you their description. I'm just going to read it. It kind of cracks me up a little bit. Winter Wonderland reminds us of being tucked into a cabin in the midst of the snow-covered pine and cranberries simmering on the hearth. It starts with light green and pineapple notes. A heart of forest pine needles and clove buds are followed by a sweet cotton candy, soft woody notes, and a light ozone breeze. What? That sounds fancy. <laughs> I don't even know how best to, I mean, that pretty much sums it up. It's piney. It's not like a big potpourri bomb like you get at the store during Christmas time, but you can definitely get the pine. I don't know if I get pineapple so much. The cotton candy is what tips it off. It, that little bit of sweet smell with the pine is very, very, very unique. It's just, it's very interesting. So I get piney, a hint of like sweet from the cotton candy and the very woody like smell. It's legitimately pretty awesome. I don't even know what else to say about it, but Winter Wonderland, Heck yeah, potpourri bomb, not even anywhere near that. Pine, sweet, woody, but it's a level sweet, so it's not like gross sweet, I hate that. It's just, it's amazing, it's amazing. And that is all for the fragrance notes. For those of you who don't know, if I give a shout out to Royalty Soaps or Katie Carson, that's because Katie is the one who literally got me into making soaps, but not just normal goat milk soap, pretty, different, unique. She was the first channel that popped up when we started looking into what to do with our milk so that we would have an outlet for the milk. We came across Katie, Royalty Soaps. Check it out, I'll put a link in the description. Katie, I'm gonna tag you this time. I've never tagged you before, but you are truly my inspiration for cool soaps. But I'll tag her in the description. We wanted to make soaps that were goat milk soap. That's the huge benefit, but also super, super cool. So 
if you hear me throw out an homage to Katie or to royalty, that's what I'm doing. Go check out her soaps. Please throw in the comments that I sent you and I'm gonna tag her this time. I'm gonna be brave and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tag her, so. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I know this is a soap video, but the lovely H, who is my wife, by the way, who does not appear in the videos, ordered me a couple hoodies. One of them, I dream of goats and pizza, two of my favorite things in the world. This one might be the best. World's, <laughs> world's okayest goat farmer. <laughs> That is friggin' awesome. All right, I can't wear making soap because I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys in and show you that. All right, y'all, so while I was waiting for my whites to dry, I went ahead and did a double batch of pear, double batch of men's. So go check those out on Etsy as well. If things are a little messy in here, that's because I just finished that little marathon. So I'm not normally this sketchy with my videos. I'm just having a rough day of making videos. So the white is set up. What I'm gonna do, you can see it's on a little bit of an angle. So I'm gonna spoon with this to make it fluffy looking like snow. Shadows are killing me today. So essentially I'm just gonna kind of fluff this up a little bit, make it look like a little bit of a snowy landscape. White's a little bit hard right now, a little harder than I want it to be. It's always either too soft or too hard. It's just, it's never a happy medium. It doesn't really matter with this because I'm just whipping up a little snow bank. We're gonna take these trees, pop them in there a little bit tight. I'm just gonna nip off a little bit there. See if it's good enough, nice and tight. Parking the tree down there right on top of the snow bank. Nice, a little tighter. Nope, nope, still a little loose. That's okay. Just kind of wiggle that down into the snow. It's just not a good way for you to see it. So, trees. In there like that. I need like some studio lights or something. So I'm gonna make up this whole batch and then I will get back to you before I blend everything together. It's not a super complicated pour, but it's, it's an in-pot swirl and then kind of like a drop swirl. All right, so we're gonna split this off. That's gonna be our white. I don't have a big enough container to pour all of this into, so I'll pour it into two different containers, and we'll pour it all back in the big container. If you blend your white first, in this case, I can just go from here to the blue. So this needs to be lightened a little bit. Hey, what do you think of this blue? <laughs> she said, you got this. All right. Okay, so I forgot to tell you guys, this oil is like your best friend. It does not discolor. It does not speed up trace. It just does nothing, but smells amazing. I need to get this out of here because I need this. Nothing to measure, nothing to do. Just get it out of there. No need to scrape it out or anything, because I'm just gonna be pouring it right back in there, kind of. So now, actually I could have just left some in there. What we're gonna do, we're gonna pour in from the side, because I'm gonna pour out the front, and I want the swirl to happen. There's three times as much blue as there is white, so I just have to be careful not to overuse the white. I believe this is called an in-pot swirl. I don't know all the fancy names. I just do it because I like it. So here's the tree, and I know the shadows suck, guys. What I have to be careful of is if I pour too much on this side of the tree, it's gonna wanna force that tree that way. So I gotta kinda get, it's like a two-thirds here, one-third here. So I gotta kinda play a good balance in order to keep that tree from moving. I've moved a couple trees, nothing terrible. Okay, so the tree's kind of covered now, so I can just be super cool with it. Did I pour a whole bunch all over the place? Sure enough, I did. Hold on the side. That's number one, I'll just pour the other two for you guys. All 
Hi, Andrea from VW Family Farm. You're on. Now I gotta give you a shout out, right? So there's one, there's number two, and there's number three. So we'll just let that set up for like 20 minutes and then we'll come back and texture the top. I have to say, this is a lovely H technique. Not mine, I can't do it. I'm not as, uh, well, not anywhere near as good at it as she is. Are you gonna do this for me? Nope. Uh, I gotta do it by myself? You got this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> kind of feel like I'm assaulting the soap when I do this, but. No, I got this. Yep. Thanks for the <laughs> pep talk. <laughs> it actually looks, it looks a little strange like this, but when it's cut, it looks really nice. So I'll do the other two. Try not to talk at you too much. I've never treated a soap so badly. Mm -hmm. Just like. It's not like, if you're not aggressive enough with it, it won't look how you intend it to look. Yeah, I'm just stabbing it with a spoon. It's like, eh, eh, eh. We will come back in about eh, 24 hours. <laughs> what does Katie always say? We'll be back in 18. We'll be back in, yes, we'll be back in 18 to 24 hours to cut this soap. <laughs> so I made 30 of our Christmas soap yesterday. After I finished making this, I'm like, I don't have time to just stand around and not make more soap. So I made these two in the middle of waiting for part of this to set up. And then I made 30 more after I finished this. So I think we're at hundred. So I'm gonna cut hundred bars of soap. We're gonna do it ASMR style. And then I will come back and talk through cutting the Christmas soap. Obviously I'm gonna cut that last for you guys. Now we get to the Christmas soap. I don't know if there's too much to say, honestly, just cut it, cut it and shut it. Now I have to be a little careful because I put the tree in here and the tree has been aging longer than the soap. So the tree will be a lot more firm than the soap surrounding it. So there's a chance if I press too hard too fast that I might push that tree through the soap. Just hit the tree. Ooh, there we go. Before I pull this out, this is the soap maker's nightmare when you're doing videos. Yes, every soap is unique. Every batch is different, but man, when you're doing it on video, you want it to come out the way you planned it. We were going for very cute, very simplistic, And I think we nailed it. Catching a little green hue from the bad lighting. And then there's the top. There's one a little further down the bar. Just a simple tree with a snowy background in the sky sitting on a snowy hill. So that's what we were going for guys. And that turned out gorgeous. Very simple. Now I'm excited to cut the other ones. <laughs> oh, that's just adorable. Hitting that tree right there. That tree's pretty firm. Oof, that one was really, really firm. That did not feel good on the way through. Didn't move though. Doesn't look like it moved. Look at that. Isn't that just cute? So simple. 
That's Christmas soap 2022, guys. That is gorgeous. I was sitting on the couch last night and I could smell this soap and I was like, what is that? That smells really good, what is that? The lovely H was like, uh, that's the Christmas fragrance. And I was like, what? I, I don't know how else to explain that it is awesome. So I've been making this for a few weeks now. There are a few people that I showed this to. All of those people have already said, I want two of those or three of those or four of those. So that being said, we will be holding some for craft shows and then we will be putting some on Etsy. I will be launching this video on November 1st. I will put the video out at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's New York time for those of you who are looking. And I will launch the soap on Etsy at 9 p.m. Whatever quantity we put on Etsy, that is it. There's no more coming to Etsy. The rest of it will be for craft shows. So if it's 30 bars, it's 30 bars and that's all guys. So if you want it, get it. Thanks for watching. Go click all the buttons, like, subscribe, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell a stranger, follow us on Facebook, follow us on YouTube and share our video, please. And we thank you and we'll see you next time. Enjoy the soap. Bye. <laughs>